The only way to receive any digital audio mechanical royalties, aka streaming and download royalties, due to you from the DSPs or digital service providers operating under the blanket mechanical license is to register your works with the MLC. You can register works individually or if you have a large number of works to register and you have a publisher IPI number, you can upload works in bulk. Registration history is a record of new work submissions or updates to existing works. Registrations or updates will be saved here for two years from the date of submission. If you can't complete an individual registration in the moment, you can save what you have in the registration draft section for up to three months. The only things that are required for a work registration are work title, publisher name and share, writer name, and writer role. All other information is optional, but we recommend including as much information as you have. It's important to note that the MLC does not have the option for a writer share because 100% of digital audio mechanical royalties are paid to the publisher. The publisher is then responsible for paying out any agreed upon of amount of royalties to the songwriter, composer, or lyricist. If you are the sole publisher of a work, you should claim 100% of the share for your member. Typically, anyone that helped create a musical work is entitled to shares of that work. That said, this is dependent on the agreement between the writers and publishers of the work. If you are the sole writer, you likely have a large share, whereas other roles may vary. Please note that if you collaborated with other songwriters to create a work, you will need to agree with them on the percentage of shares owned per contributor. If you want to see if someone has already claimed a share of ownership in your work, you can conduct a public search on the MLC portal by selecting the magnifying glass in the upper right-hand corner. You can also utilize the claiming tool in the MLC portal to claim shares on an already existing work. If you have not written or composed the work, you do not need to register it with the MLC as you will not be able to collect digital audio mechanical royalties from that work. For example, if you covered a song that you did not write, you do not need to register that work with the MLC. If you have a publisher IPI number, you can utilize our bulk work registration process. You will need to download the bulk work registration template, fill out each column with as much information as you have for each work, and then upload it. The template has a maximum of 300 rows, so you may need to upload multiple documents if you have a large amount of works to register. Please note that publishing information should only be entered for shares that you control. Please do not enter publishing and shares information for publishers that you do not represent. Every member is responsible for claiming their own shares in each work. You can locate your IPI number through your performing rights organization, aka your PRO, by either searching on your PRO's website or contacting your PRO directly. It's important to note that you don't need an IPI to register works individually with the MLC. However, you will need one if you want to upload many works using our bulk work upload feature. So now I'm going to give you a demonstration of the individual registration tool. I can find this option on the left-hand side of the portal. I'm gonna click here. First, uh, you will be prompted to search to see if the work already exists. This is really important to prevent duplicate work registrations. If you find that your work doesn't already exist by using the search function, you can click create new work. There's two options here. The first is to use the wizard, which is re recommended for first time users. The second is to skip to the form and this is recommended for advanced users. I'm going to use the wizard this time. So I inputted some information before and it populated here. So I've got the work title here. I can add the duration of the song. I can add the language that it's in. If I have my own work identifier that I use for my records, I can add that here. I can add the copyright registration number or date, the ISWC code, and additionally, I can add alternative titles. We definitely encourage you to add as much information as you have, but most of this information is optional. Once I've inputted all this information, I can click Next, and at any point in time, I can click Save for Later if I want to save this as a draft. The next step here is to add writers to your work. So I'm gonna click the plus sign here, and I'm going to search to see if this writer name already exists. And I can see that there's a couple results that populate here. 
I'm gonna say that this one is the one that I need. I'm gonna add Paul McCartney as the writer, click next. Then I'm going to select the proper writer role for Paul McCartney. I'm going to select composer author and then click next. Now I need to select the publisher name that I need to add. And fortunately, you can see that my publisher name is already populated as a suggested result. So I'm just going to click add here and then hit next. Now I need to add my publisher share in the work. Say I have 50% shares in this work. I'm going to click next. And now it wants me to connect the represented writer to my publisher. So I'm gonna click here and then link the writer that I added to my publisher. Now click next. Now I have the ability to add recording information if I want to. We definitely recommend that you do this, but it's not necessary. Now I'm going to add the relevant recording information. I can also add the duration, the label, and the ISRC code, which is definitely helpful if you have it, but optional. I'm gonna click add recording. Now I've got this information here. Then I'm clicking next. And now I'm at the review stage where I can confirm that I have added all the information I needed to. And now I'm clicking submit. Click create to confirm, and you can see that yesterday was successfully submitted. Now I'm gonna click done, and I can see that submission populated in my registration history. You can see the submission date was March 19th, and I can see that the status is currently submitted, which means we've they've the MLC has received your submission, and it's currently in submitted status. Eventually, it will either change to superseded, rejected, or accepted. I can look through the three tabs in my registration history to see a record of all my submissions from the last two years. If the work does not already exist in the MLC database, you can use the individual registration tool to register a brand new work. You can also use the bulk upload feature if you have a publisher IPI and need to register works in bulk. As always, please feel free to reach out to the MLC support team if you have any other questions.